tell me your names and the name of your blog and why you set it up. Okay, my name is Thomas Phillips and this is my brother Samuel Phillips and we set up wearethetwins.com. What? Well, why did you set up the blog? Uh, we set up the blog just to basically show people all of our work and just to create an interest about what we're doing, what we're doing every day as well so that people can see what we're up to. Um, but also for us to show our portfolio, um, we call it a blogfolio, um, so it can kind of appeal to a lot more people as well. What kind of people do you think look at it? Um, we, we know, well we've had people from industry, we've had Umbro, Nike, Adidas, and Puma. Also, and also we're on sort of things like Twitter and, and Facebook which is linked towards um, people that also design football kits as well elsewhere in the country so it's quite interesting for them to to see what we're doing as well. But also friends and family as well on Facebook and stuff like that. And um, what do you hope it will achieve for you? Hopefully a job. <laughs> um, but recognition as well yeah. and like um, sort of uh, reputation. Also, it's good to get uh, opinion and feedback on our on our work, and you know, hopefully, people would like what we do. Yeah. How do you use it um, with your tutors then? Um, I think sometimes in the tutorials we'll um, show you our tutor the latest blog post just to show him what we've done, as opposed to talking about it. We can physically show him the pictures of what we've done, and um, it's just um, an easy way of just. Um, getting across what we've been up to and some, sometimes we use it in a, in a crit to instead of showing a powerpoint we can show them our website and it's just because it, it shows you the journey that you go on as well yeah. it, from just a little bit more interesting than say a powerpoint which is quite good anyway, um, so what does it help you to show what you love about what you do I mean does it how does that work yeah, how does it kind of I think um in the in the businesses that we're in, passion is actually quite just as important as kind of like portfolio and stuff like that. So showing that um, we like watching football, playing football, designing football kits, it just it shows who we are as people, and that helps with the design. And on the on a section on our website, we have a football section just so people can see that passion we have, and um, um, the more people can see about you, the more they understand about you, the more they can sort of um, Help me out here. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's okay. That's good. Yeah. yeah. More people can just <laughs> basically it's an opportunity to, to for potential employers to to see who you are and what type of person. And you they are. know you've got passion. They know you have a passion for posting um, content and to get stuff out there and to be proactive. Um, and that's that's always going to be a good thing. Okay. Um, what's with the Everton shirts? We um we've just been wearing Everton shirts since we were since we first had football shirts, the team we support and it's kind of we have through a generations we have every single every single Everton shirt, so it's kind of every time we have a kind of picture and or video we wanna make sure that we're kind of in our Everton shirt. Or in a football stuff. shirt as well, because that also adds to the fact that we're always in a always in a football shirt. We're we designing football kits, wearing football kits, it's it's playing kind of, football, it's kind of the whole the whole thing basically. So how important is it as a student to have to start building your brand. I think, I mean, for us, we're we're more sort of a brand because there's two of us, I think, and that's what we want to go into. Um, but I think the more you can kind of maybe create your own label and stuff like that, the more um, insight you get into how branding works and kind of you can create a kind of energy mm -hmm. about what's going on and um, and publicity as well. Um, you know, you, you don't want to just have a few designs of, of, of an outfit. You want to be able to tell a story and have a website and have all this stuff to to get um, awareness up. I don't think that's yeah. quite right, but yeah, I just um, kind of feel that if you if, if if you're in your first year and you've got a website, you kind of I kind of feel that you'd be a step ahead ahead of other people. Um, just just because like you, you can send emails out with your your address as opposed to you know, having a portfolio and having to go to somewhere, you can just send it off, off in an email. It's, prof it's professional as well. Yeah. If you've got a website set up and you know it's, it's efficient and 
it's more exciting and people can see that excitement and people can see what you're doing. I think, and I think the way that the kind of PSD in the fashion world is going is to, more towards the social media oh, side course, as well. Yeah, so getting, getting a website, getting a blog set up kind of as soon as you can is quite important, I think. Um, are you assessed on your blogs? No. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, that, that's but but the, the website, I say if you use it within your project, it can be a part of your presentation, but I think it's um, it's more about, you know, if people in the industry can see how professional you are, that you've got a blog set up, that in a way is it, it's, it's more just as invaluable as getting as a mark. Getting a mark, extra mark. So the professionals use blogs as well, do they? Yeah. I, I sh I, it, things, things like companies like Umbro and Nike and Adidas all have their own blogs and Twitters and stuff like that, so they're all, everyone's kind of doing the blog thing. Right, you've got mm -mm, 30 seconds to pitch me what what, what you do, what, what is it that you stand for, you represent, what, what, what is our the twins, brand. yeah, your brand. Our brand is, <coughs> our brand is, we're two twins with um, an unbelievable amount of passion for football kits, we've been designing them since we were five years old, um, we, we sent our kits off to Umbro when we were five years old and we're now getting sponsored by Umbro to make football kits in our final collection. Um, and um, yeah, we are the twins, showcases everything, everything that we've done, everything we, we do, and everything we are. We are the twins. And, it, <laughs> and it's hopefully something that we want to take into the future later on, which is to create our own brand. You said you have to be careful. Yeah, yeah, you have to be kind of careful what what you put on your blog because obviously professional industry and people are going to see it. Um, and for instance, things like spelling mistakes and and you know you don't want posting information about fabric and, and all this sort of stuff. So you have to be careful and make sure you're always professional with what you post. Um, I think it's also, it's, you know, in terms of posting inspirational images, what we like to do is stick to things that we're actually doing mm -hmm. because that's what people are interested in. You know, um, people outside have already seen a certain image, so we like to, you know, they don't see what you do in the studio yeah. and stuff that's relevant. Just, just creates more, more of an interest about what you're doing. Yeah. Um, and also, I would say setting up a Twitter is, is incredibly important to what you do because you post it on, on um, you post your blog post and then you tweet it on Twitter. Tweet it on, yes. Twitter. Um, for instance, we, we, there was a video of the two of us in our Everton kits on Soccer AM and we posted that on our website as a blog post because it's relevant, because it's us, because it's, we're in our football kits um, and we posted it on Twitter about two hours later or at the end of the day we had, we had 800 views to our website or something. Because we got it retweeted through the Soccer AM website so it's just, it's great because you can retweet, you can send links to different companies and stuff like that and, and just build up this kind of... And there was a, for example, there was a, um, there was a rugby, rugby club came in um, to do a tour for performance sportswear students and we, take, we took a few photos and stuff like that and um, we made a blog post about it and a day later we found out that Adidas, someone from Adidas had been on our website on the Monday and then someone else from Adidas had been on our site on the Wednesday through Facebook, through looking at this post. Um, and then they emailed us Wednesday evening about an opening of a job. So um, there's definitely a, advantages of having a blog. So we just getting a, a job and linking it to It industry. took, what, 20 minutes to post that, that, that blog there with a few photos. The university are really interested in it. Um, it keeps a record of what we've been doing and also the fact that Adidas saw it exact is, is just a great example of why you should set up a blog. Yeah. Do, do you think um, do you think it would help people who maybe are dyslexic who've got more maybe sort of visual thinkers or something mm. to have a blog rather than, you know, trying to communicate in other ways? Is that something you know about or um, not really. The, the only thing I say is it is quite good to keep it keep it visual. So yeah. instead of just having two photos, have eight photos because um, that obviously that tells 
you know, a good story as well, just through imagery. So yeah, that's quite important as well. We like to we like to do a short paragraph of what we've done, a little bit of information about it, and then just a load just a load of photos. And yeah, because then people click on the link, they see they see more photos, and um, it's just a little bit more interesting for people to 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 read and look at.